Hey everyone, it's me, Jason Brock, and I'm just doing a little check-in. It's my weekly vlog. Hey everyone, welcome to the Jason Brock channel. I'm Jason Brock, and uh, thanks for watching. Today I'm just gonna check in and tell you what's going on with my life, including my diet, including and especially my diet. <laughs> Uh, do I look any thinner yet? I don't know. Um, but I have lost, uh, what? Like, a kilo and a half. That's, I found out I lost a kilo and a half. I thought I lost more, but I haven't. Uh, so, but still, that's good progress. I've only been doing this ten days. I'm doing the low-carb diet and training with the trainer. Oh, yeah. Not, not very much there. Okay. Well, so anyway... <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm being faithful and diligent to my diet and my trainer. And, uh, you know, let's hope that um, I make some progress and keep losing weight. Uh, well, I have made some progress, but I want to make more progress. The goal, I think it's 80 kilo. And I'm right now at 108 or 109, between there somewhere. So, um,. I have a long way to go, <laughs> but I really want to get there and I'm doing my best. I, in best case scenario, I could actually look good in the summer. I mean, my body could look, okay, I shouldn't say good because I know good comes in many forms for many different people, but to me, I want to have a much more lean body. So I've, I've never had that as an adult and I really want it. So yeah, that's the goal, working toward it. I'm very hungry right now. God damn it. <laughs> But that's that's how it goes, all right? I'm hungry. I just try to tell myself, it's okay. You can make it. You can get through this. And I do. I get through it. It's kind of like quitting smoking, uh, which I haven't done yet. But quitting smoking is so similar because you're, like, facing cravings and urges. Um, but you have to say no. And you have to just move past it without food. And that can be difficult. Speaking of food, this is not food. But I bought this. This is gigantic, though. This is Aquarius. Where's the zero? Oh, there's the zero. See that zero? Okay, so this is no-calorie beverage. Um, you know, probably some artificial sweetener in there. I don't know what kind. But uh, it does kind of help me get through. Because uh, at least I get some kind of flavor. But not the calories. Um, but generally speaking, I'm doing, like, uh, healthy food low fat, low carb, almost no sugar, pretty much no sugar, except I think there's just a little bit in those protein bars and protein shakes and things like that. Um, so yeah, eating really healthy. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, the food is not so bad. It's just not very much, you know, so I can cook the food myself or I can order food that's pre-made. Have y'all ever done that before? I had done it before, and it actually worked really well. I guess in America, it's kind of like Jenny Craig. You can order food, you know, and just eat what they tell you to eat. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that all the time. I'm doing that part of the time and cooking the other part of the time. Like, for me, breakfast is pretty easy. I just fry some eggs and uh, maybe have some natto. You know natto? It's probably disgusting to a lot of you, but... Uh, a lot of Japanese people like it, and for some reason I like it. Even though it's slimy, fermented soybeans. <laughs> but you put some mustard and some sauce, like a, I think it's a soy sauce, and uh, then you can put some green onions on it. Oh, so good, so good. But usually I eat that with rice. Usually most people eat that with rice, and can't have the rice right now, or at least not very much. If I do, just a little. So yeah, um... That is interesting. Um, also, I'm studying Japanese. Uh, you know, I'm, I live in Japan, but of course I'm always sort of practicing because there's a lot of opportunities to practice, but not always studying. And for the last couple weeks, I've been studying three hours a day. So I'm really trying to get better because after I graduated, which I did recently, yay! I graduated uh, with my bachelor's recently, 
And I, now I'm studying Japanese for a year, going to a Japanese school, uh, language school. And my goal is to get much, much better in this year, like significantly, because I want to, I don't know, use my language skills after that year, whether it be in work or another school, like a master's degree program. Uh, University of Tokyo has a really good reputation and it's one of the highest drink schools in the world. Some of you may not know that. I didn't know that uh, until I looked it up. But yeah, it's one of the highest ranked schools globally. Um, so good school. I might just go there, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, Japanese wouldn't be required for that because they have master's programs in English. But um, what if I don't go the master's route, then I might want to just have much better Japanese skills to get a job here. Or if I go back to the US, if I do anything involving Japan, I would like to have Japanese skills. So uh, there's a lot of reasons to improve my Japanese. And um, also communicate with my boyfriend, communicate with my Japanese friends, um, communicate day to day. That, that would be nice to do better. Of course I can to some extent. You know, um, I have conversations in Japanese with my boyfriend and other people, but I'm limited. I'm limited, you know, I reach these, some words I just have no idea what they are, or sometimes someone says a whole sentence, I have no idea what they're talking about. So that's where I need to keep studying, keep getting better. Um, so good thing I am doing that. I guess I'm, I'm really doing a good job on that. Diet, exercise, Japanese. So I'm happy with myself on those. Um, and also... Oh yeah, I think my last vlog I said I was feeling really weird, really horrible being on the diet and uh, training. And that has mostly gone away. I think that it might have been something to do with hunger or a withdrawal from carbs and maybe even caffeine. Because ever since I started doing this, I don't drink as much caffeine. I still have, here I'll show you, <laughs> yes, I just happen to have this. This is Coke Zero in Japan. It's different than Coke Zero in the US or other countries probably. But see how Zero Sugar Coca-Cola, that's how they brand it. But it's Coke Zero basically. But I think it's more close to Mexican, Mexican bottled soda. Have you ever had bottled soda like in the plastic bottle in Mexico? It's not the same carbonation as we have in the US. It's like, almost like if you shook it, it wouldn't really explode, like ever. I don't know if that's true. But in America, it's the kind of carbonation that would go, push, you know, if you shake it too much. But in Japan, that's less the case. I've shaken these up. Well, why don't we give it a try? Why not? I'm interested. I'm interested. Okay, watch. Do you see that? Almost nothing. That's what I'm talking about. So this stuff is like temporarily carbonated. If you let it, let it sit for a day or something, I think it loses its carbonation. Same in Mexico, where I was for a couple months in Puerto Vallarta. Woo! I was doing some concerts down there a few years back, and that was interesting. That was fun, and also depressing because I didn't sell that many tickets. <laughs> but people did come. People did come. So that was nice. And sometimes there were a lot of people, but usually not that many. <laughs> Oh Lord, the life of an artist. Um, but anyway, so yeah, uh, did y'all watch the news? Did you see uh, Donald Trump did a speech to the people? Uh, the people to the what is it called? American Value, American Conservative Conference or something? Um, so I watched that, or at least kind of half watched it. It was like an hour and a half long. But uh, I. I think it's so interesting how it's hard to decipher what's a lie and what's not with him. I personally don't feel trust in him, but I know a lot of people do, and I feel sorry for them. <laughs> because he just, I think he's making stuff up on the spot. Uh, now, to be honest, I think he had some good points, though. Um, what did he say? Okay, this was a perspective I hadn't heard before. World Health Organization. You know, America is now a member again with Biden, which I thought, that's great. But then Trump was saying something about, oh my God, Whitney Houston. Uh, but Trump was saying something about uh, 
the reason he didn't want to be in the World Health Organization was about money, that we were paying too much money. And then I thought, you know, like compared with other major countries, and I thought, oh, that's an interesting argument. I, why hadn't I heard that before? That would have been like logical or somewhat logical. At least I could have been like, oh, he has a reason. Or maybe it's the news media outlets that I watch, which tend to be more liberal. But I do watch some conservative or middle road uh, programs because I try to get a balanced perspective. You know, I did, I studied political science, so that's one thing we learned. You <laughs> don't jump to conclusions, consider everything, compare, compare with other governments, with other countries, see where we stand in that regard. You know, don't just believe what, what is told to you by the media. Um, and I, I think, yeah, you have to take it with a grain of salt, everything. Even stuff right out of the president's mouth, the Democratic president's mouth. You know, um, I prefer to have Biden over Trump. Um, but even a Democrat that we like um, can, will have to probably say some things that are, I don't know if they're lies. Probably lie. Yeah, probably lie. I think that's probably necessary sometimes. I think he doesn't want to lie. This administration doesn't want to lie. But I think they'll be forced to, and that's the, the pro problem with politics. Or framing, you know framing, corporate word, frame it in a certain way. Uh, maybe not tell you everything and maybe lead you to believe something that they want you to believe. Oh, yeah, politics, politics. But America is pretty good, a pretty good system. Um, but Trump was talking about... Um, the elections, he said, we need to have election reform and have uh, fair and blah, 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 elections. Well, of course, we all want that. I thought we already had that. I hadn't really questioned it very much. I know there's some problems, but I thought overall it was pretty reliable. Um, but now he says he wants to revamp stuff. Of course, he doesn't have power now, but he does want to run again, it sounds like. Um, but... Okay, as far as reforming the election system, how, how is that going to work? What can we do that we didn't do already? I, he said one day of elections and that's it. No mail-in ballots unless you're out of the country or you can't, uh, can't go to the polls physically or something. I'm thinking, wait, is that really the answer? I, I don't think so. I mean, I'm really progressive in this sense that I believe... We should go online voting. I, it may sound crazy, but if you can trust your money on the internet, you can trust your vote on the internet. That's my opinion. Um, and we do. We trust our money all the time on the internet to banks, online banking, online stock exchanges, etc. Um, and Estonia, the country over, oh, across the pond. Um, well, for me, it's not across the pond, but probably, well, maybe I'm on an island. I don't know whatever. Estonia, ha Estonia has the online elections already, and that seems to be going okay, although they've had some political issues, but not because of online elections. I think online elections should be the thing, and everyone just does that, and that's that. No mail-in, no in-person, just do it online. And uh, for people who cannot use the internet, there are libraries. <laughs> Someone can show them how to do it. Uh, or maybe they could have polls for some people who just don't have a computer or a phone. Um, although that's getting more and more rare. Because even people who can't afford a phone, at least in San Francisco, I don't know about other cities or counties, but San Francisco will give you a phone. There's a program. I've seen it. Um, so, yeah, our homeless people have phones. They sure do. At least they have that. Um, but... Where am I going with this? Okay, so enough about election reform. <laughs> um, you know, I can't drink anymore. Well, okay, that's not true. I can drink up to three drinks, and I really have to... This is hard for me because I like to drink. When I drink. I don't drink every day. But when I drink, I drink a lot. So, like, usually beer. I mean, I can't even count how many beers I drink. If I go out on a drinking binge, you know what I mean? Like go out with my friends or boyfriend and uh, just talking, having fun. It's great. I love it. 
but I drink obviously too much, but I can't come close to that on this diet. I can't even drink beer or wine. I can drink, or sake. I can drink uh, spirits, like whiskey, vodka, that sort of thing. Um, I can drink shochu, which is close to a spirit, uh, I think. I don't know the actual categorization, but it's a Japanese spirit. Uh, almost, or, or maybe it is, I don't know. But you know, with that, at least I can have highballs, which are, are very popular here. Highballs you can get almost anywhere. You know, it's like the whiskey and the soda with no calories. Mix it in, stir it, yum, 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 feeling good. That's, that's how it goes. <laughs> well, you, have you drunk before? Then you would know. If you haven't, then I'm sorry. I hope you never, no, I hope you do drink, but in moderation. Yeah. I think anyone should feel free to drink if it's not bad for their body or if, unless they don't like it. But I personally really like the feeling of a buzz. What about you? <clears throat> so anyway, I guess I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to have some of my zero calorie Aquarius. Aquarius. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. I hate that song. Anyway, um, have a great day or night, wherever you are. And uh, much love. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And I do respond to the comments. It usually takes me a bit, but I do respond. You can check. I respond, baby. I either say something or at least heart it or something. Unless it's rude, then I just... I will either not respond or thumbs down. Oh yes, I will thumbs down a rude comment. Anyway, not you, because you're awesome. <laughs> okay, and also, oh yeah, I have a Patreon. It's in the description. If you want to support me and so I make more videos, more music, more everything, uh, please check out my Patreon. And there's also free stuff for you if you join, like a free Jason Brock paraphernalia, like a, a bag and a coffee cup, and a, uh, wait, a t-shirt, and there's all kinds of stuff, so depends what level you join, and you can also request videos for me, like what you want to see, you can actually request it on Patreon, and then all the patrons vote, and uh, just check it out, the different levels offer different benefits, so thanks so much, have a great day, cheers!